What's going on guys, Dragscope Designs here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, tutorial on how to make a uh, YouTube background for the uh, new kind of template looking thing. So uh, before we all start, you want to go down to the description and download this template I've made here. So uh, let's begin in Cinema 4D. Let's go ahead and open up a MoGraph Mo text. Drag. Let's see here, let's turn this into nice looking graffiti text. Underground, no. It's this. Alright. Drag this up into the middle. Let's pull it back a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and zoom in here. Move this up. Whoa, it's going slow. Why is it slow? Alright, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's just uh, give this a bit of more of a depth. Let's change this to about 75. Uh, no, not 75. Let's turn this to a 300, actually. There we go. Uh, 275, actually. You know what? Yeah, that sounds better. 275. Let's see what that looks like. All right, perfect. I'm going to just change this to drag. All right, so let's go ahead and go into caps. Starting cap. Fill it cap. And let's change the uh, radius to 4. Oh, uh, wait. Mm -hmm. Let's actually change it to 3. Alright, so now we got that done. Let's go ahead and add in a small texture. So what I'm going to do here is I got my white. Let's turn off specular color. Reflection. Da -da -da -dum. Right. Let's go ahead and add that. Uh, that needs to be a gray air, actually. Uh, looks better. There we go. Let's go ahead and add that in. Yeah, and render it out. Let's see what it looks. <laughs> While this is rendering out for you guys, if it wouldn't be so much, if you guys can go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and uh, comment if you guys have any questions so far. But it, it'll really help me out if you guys subscribe. You know, it actually is pretty fun. Or yeah all right so I like that color but I'm going to bring down the reflection a little bit mm, 32 seems fine let's go ahead and render that out all right so let's go ahead and render that just let that load up and like I said a second ago if you guys could actually like this uh, video and subscribe if I get about 50 subscribers and 200 likes on this video I will actually give away my GFX pack which has a bunch of stuff in here actually I got uh, abstract stuff a whole lot of stuff in here actually I got landscapes uh, I got a lot of renders and optical flares probably the flares is what I have the most of the loads yeah, I have a ton of flares. Um, done yet? I have 230 flares. All right, so let's see here. Almost done. All right, uh, we'll come back real quick once this is done rendering. All right, guys. So the render here is now finished. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And let's go ahead and open it up. Got a move tool. Let's go ahead and drag this onto our background. Uh, for this background, uh, or for this tutorial, sorry, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it on a uh, normal background. But uh, I probably will be uploading a partner background tutorial in a few, a while actually. Let's see here. Get this to about 90 degrees. I can't. Okay, let's go ahead there. Place it on in there. Let's just drag it down. And up. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Let's 
All right. So what I'm going to do here is actually change this to a white. For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a white background, basically like uh, like mine that you have here. Hit load. Do, 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 do. So this is basically what we're going to be creating. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, edit this. Let's give it a nice drop shadow right here. Darker. Let's give it a more distant spread and size. 13 looks good. Let's uh, give it a small stroke, probably one pixel, and uh, a gradient overlay. Changes to the angle to 180 degrees. Set it to an overlay, and you should be good. So let's go ahead and duplicate this, and uh, click Control T to transform, and let's just drag it on up. Click Yes, and then drag it under this layer. It's going to create a new layer, and then drag this down. Click Merge Layers, so there's no uh, effects. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to our eraser tool, set it to about 300 with a, a hardness of 0%. And let's go ahead and uh, stroke around here, just delete a few stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and just change, cha uh, change the opacity to uh, 30 looks good, 35. Let's go ahead and open up a uh, a texture here. Let's see what I could use. I'm probably going to use something bold, something that stands out of there. Let's use this one here. Where'd it go? Let's use this one. So once it opens up, all right, unclick this. It's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, add that into right there. Drag it on in and create a clipping mask. And then set it to an overlay. I'm just going to duplicate the layer. Uh, merge this down with this layer. Crap. Duplicate it again. And let's just uh, release the clipping mask. Actually, yeah. Okay. Let's take this back to normal. Uh, and then change the opacity lower. So let's see right here. Set this down. And basically what we're going to do is now zoom out so I can see more. And just go to our eraser tool and set the hardness to zero. Get a big brush and just, you know, stroke around. I like to do it in circles so it's not like, it doesn't look like it was set up. Okay. Go ahead and click Control T. Just drag it on down and then bring it back up. So basically, you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing, but you know what? You guys can just freelance it. Um, for the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to have to do two parts, but uh, you guys can check out the other part. I'll put the uh, second part in the um, description or a uh, annotation like right around here probably. So, uh, Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out part two so you guys can finish. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video. Thanks.